Hello, XRP and Ripple community members. It's good to have you back. Here, we shall discuss XRP. In this video, I'd like to discuss a new record high. In 2017, I arrived at this location. For the first time in my life, I feel absolutely certain that XRP will surpass this all-time high and be extremely liquid. Preparation is required. This year and into early next year, you can expect it. How far can we go up? What happens next is uncertain at this point. News and utility meters will reveal all. All of these other crypto stocks will learn from the market's reaction, and strict regulations will be imposed. When will the popularity of stablecoins peak? You should consider using XRP as a stablecoin. You need only be a part of it or have it to benefit from it. About two seconds worth of time. You can use it hands-free. We'll discuss the market conditions that make it possible to use the cloud liquidity program to your advantage. XRP is where we're headed. We'll discuss the latest Ripple insights they've released and the connections between them. We're going to discuss the value of XRP because it is necessary to do so in preparation for the upcoming spectacular climax. Let's get right down to business then, shall we? Market for cryptocurrencies. How do we explain this? Actually, there hasn't been all that much of a shift. The current price of Bitcoin is $20,241. The price of Ethereum in US dollars is $1,438. Historically, 1 U.S. dollar was equal to 100 U.S. decimal cents. Now 91 cents. Bitcoin's share of the cryptocurrency market is 41.49%, while XRP's is only 0.36%. Here I'd like to remind you that this walks Lions, my fantastic project, and that if you aren't already a part of it, you can do so easily by visiting the website, which I've provided a link to below. Prizes for the winner of our free March Madness Bracket Tournament Challenge are 125 XRP, 75 XRP, and 50 XRP, respectively for the runner-up and the losers in each bracket. Each location also receives virtual items to use in the game. If you win the item and don't want to participate in the metaverse, you can always just sell it. Extra XRP, if you will. Nothing is required. Visit the site and complete the form there. When you're finished, you'll receive an email with your bracket and the password. ESPN website is hosting it for us. Because there are only 21 available, I tend to talk about them quite a bit. Toes the line 30% of the XRP price increase in the second generation has been recovered. Now, all you have to do is hold on. I mean, come on, how easy is that? Then I announced it, and people, many of you will experience this. Simply put, it's the truth. The key is being truthful. It's likely that many of you will eventually be worth a million dollars thanks to XRP. Allow it to happen. There is no way to prevent it from happening. Not financial advice, but all you have to do is hold on. Please don't say it in the feedback section. Yes, I understand how some of you feel. You need only hold on. That sort of thing has occurred before, and we have witnessed it. The field of cryptography is littered with examples of this very thing happening. You may be wondering what will occur once the current lawsuit between Ripple and the SEC is resolved. There will be a sudden influx of funds into XRP. Why? Because it will be one of only two cryptocurrencies in the US with a legal status. Bitcoin is not a security, and Gary Gensler has made it abundantly clear that it is a commodity with fixed value. We are aware that Ethereum will be scrutinized for security for soon. This case, like the Ripple case before it, is expected to drag on for at least two or three years. In the event that any other cryptos become involved, we are aware of them. After that, you can expect to find them patiently waiting in line. It could take another two to three years to get the all clear. What are people supposed to do in the meantime? What do we see today if not them jumping on the XRP bandwagon? Is this the perfect storm, or is it the perfect storm? Cointelegraph Cointelegraph, Bitcoin's maxi journalistic outlet, is an XRP basher. Just what do they release these days? So, what exactly is XRP, and how does it function? In the past two, three, 
or four years, nobody has said anything negative about XRP. And now, suddenly, the ideal piece is published. If I'm honest with myself, I have to wonder, am I satisfied with it? I'll share my thoughts with you. Do you think it's okay if I do it? There is a lot of false, misleading, and stupid talk going on in here. We will review it. In any case, they are, after all, providing coverage, right? Nothing else matters to us. I mean, what do they actually say? To what do they attest? Please, stoop down. Explain what REPL is. Describe X or P if you can. How does ZP work? The past, present, and future are all discussed, as well as the evolution that has taken place. They talk about understanding the difference between Ripple and XRP. Then they'll show up and instruct you on how to farm experience points. To be clear, XRP is not mined in any way. However, hear what they have to say about how ridiculous this is. Well, it's true that miners can't mine XRP, he says. With the help of other cryptos, it is technically possible to do so. Totally defies logic. First you say it's impossible to mine XRP, and now you say it's possible. Just chill out. Whose writing is this? It is possible, for instance, to mine a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin and then trade the proceeds into another cryptocurrency like XRP using an exchange. The only thing you're doing that isn't mining XRP is buying it. You are engaging in a trade. Exactly what are you referring to? Wow, that's quite deceptive and completely absurd. The fact that they compare XRP to Bitcoin and explain why and how XRP works is mentioned. They discuss the effectiveness of the ledger, how to utilize XRP, their expenditures, the value of XRP, and when and how to purchase it. It's also a wise financial move. Listen, it's an article, that's what it is. Right. I'm relieved to see they've turned things around. According to Cryptopia, if us goes bankrupt it could cause a downturn in the cryptocurrency and Bitcoin markets. The explanation is as follows. Thank you for remembering to retweet and like this. The potential bankruptcy of the US dollar corp. USP threatens the entire cryptocurrency industry by exposing all cryptocurrency companies that are dependent on stablecoin. Come on, we need to get started. On January 17 th, it became public knowledge that the USC had stashed some of its back-end capital at Silvergate Bank, which is now inaccessible due to its closure. When pressed for an update on the status of USC's reserve circle, the organization promised one would be forthcoming. For these reasons, it should cause serious concern. According to a report, Circle had about $10 billion in cash at a regulated bank like SVB or Silvergate in January to support the value of its stablecoin. Concerns that the USC backing may not be as full and could become more fractionalized than necessary to maintain stability are heightened by reports that Circle has deposited a large sum of cash at SBB. USC's potential bankruptcy could set off a massive crypto recession, adding to the recent news of SVB and Silvergate Bank winding down, which could have dire consequences for the digital asset ecosystem. It is currently unknown how much of USC's reserves were held at SVB or if Circle has transferred the funds to a new bank. They are being unhelpful by refusing to comment. USC has repercussions beyond the retail sector. The U.S. Dollar is used by a lot of crypto companies as their main store of value. Bankruptcies may result almost immediately from this. Further updates similar to could we possibly have a recession? Increase in popularity of stable coins. During my lifetime, I don't think there was ever a recession. For lack of a better term, let's just say we're doing a little bit of landscaping in crypto. That's why I refer to it as. However, you know what? At the same time, we received XRP, the stunningly attractive XRP, with a record high price of $3.84. That will be completely broken. Why? The timing of Ripple's release, immediately following the previous day's news and just before today's announcement of the bank's closure, is ironic, to say the least. Right. Discussions pertaining to Treasury management and related topics. If finances are your main concern, the treasury of a company is discussed, as well as the management of XRP funds within it. It sounds like you want to discuss marking RippleNet as a gateway to the internet. 
In your discussion, you mentioned skipping over potentially dangerous regions such as Asia, India, Brazil, and Mexico. One of your goals is to aid vendors and cut down on the necessity of upfront funding. Take accounts receivable into account. What you've been waiting for is the article. It seems to me, though perhaps you disagree, that Ripple anticipated these events. In addition, they released this because they published a lengthy report detailing how these businesses can benefit from implementing Ripple and XRP in their treasury operations on the back end. And we know that MoneyGram has tried this out already. That's not all, it's effective. It is completely effective. Right, we now proceed to the introductory phase. People start complaining about how terrible and broken international payments are and how they hope to eliminate pre-funding and counterparty risk by bringing on board a number of large corridors. We sit down and they explain how the Ripple payment system can help your company expand. The benefits of using Ripple were discussed. What are they discussing in here? Take a look. This has major implications. They claim that their international financial system is up and running in countries like India, Mexico, Brazil, and Southeast Asia. They discuss real-time global payment settlement. They discuss the need to streamline global treasury flows and unlock locked-up capital. Consider that for a moment. Global treasury operations should be streamlined. Get rid of the frozen funds and the inactive accounts. $10 trillion and up are sitting around doing nothing, as we all know. And since they can't influence the value of a foreign currency, they must fret over its overnight fluctuations. One of the benefits of using on-demand liquidity is that you can free up all this money, so they tell you. RippleNet is the most potent cross-border payments network in existence, so imagine if Circle didn't have to worry about keeping all that money in the stable. Also, they can put XRP instantaneous liquidity to use. There wouldn't be anyone in a sticky situation at the moment. We'll be heading to your location to encourage you to connect to the system. What, exactly, is the point of having all these passages operational, with all those millions, billions, and trillions of dollars moving through this system? In what direction do you anticipate XRP price to move? And that's not even the best part, if you catch my drift. In other words, every time someone makes a purchase, they waste a nude's worth of XRP. Imagine a global transaction in which XRP and peace are constantly being destroyed. But, you know what? A sum will be reached sooner or later. Almost picture a tiny piggy bank. As you may be aware, you have contributed one penny to that pot. On the daily basis. Once a year. Daily cost of one cent, or three dollars, sixty cents annually. Eventually, at least. Even just that one cent. There will be some sort of monetary value attached to it. But what if you want to build on that? Two cents a day is all it takes to start a sizable sum in your piggy bank. Daily cost, 10 cents. 20 cents a day is not much. Every day for 50 cents. So you begin acting in this manner. What can we expect as more time goes by? A rising price is expected. We are nearing the critical mass where either XRP will experience exponential growth in value, so get ready. We've been talking about filling that tub with water for quite some time, and now it's almost at capacity. The edge is nearing overflow. You're about to witness something unprecedented, its journey to and return from the moon. I'm very excited. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.